Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, oh, this is gonna be a good video, I'm gonna show you how to set up different user profiles on your Quest. Super awesome, that way you guys can have completely different save states, you can have different libraries. Very, very useful, it's a feature that has been asked for since the day the Quest is released. Now we've figured it out, for the most part. There's a couple caveats. I'll show you how it's done, let's jump into it. Tech reviews and tutorials. Okay, so uh, first thing you're going to need to do is you are going to need to have your headset in developer mode and be familiar with side loading. Very easy stuff. I'm not going to go into that today to keep this video short. I'll provide a link to a video I did on that down below. Easy stuff. First, let me explain to you kind of how this works. The Quest is running Android 7, so Android Nougat, and Android has its own built-in profile ability, so the ability to set up different user profiles, and that's what we're gonna be doing here. One of the best things is, is if you're both playing, let's say, Moss, um, you do need to install it again for that second user, but it doesn't occupy double the space. A couple of caveats to this. The first one is that uh, if you set up a secondary profile and then you sign in using your main Oculus account, which is what I recommend so that both profiles can just download games from a shared library, that secondary profile is still gonna be like the main profile, so you're not gonna be able to change avatars and have different usernames, unless on the secondary profile, you sign in using a different Oculus account. Uh, and then you can have totally separate games, you can have different picture, different username, all of that, but you are gonna need to buy your games twice doing it that way. But that is an option for some people. Next caveat is that, and these are little ones, uh, you can't cast or record or take pictures using any profile other than the owner or the main profile. And Wi-Fi, uh, you can't change Wi-Fi when you're on another profile. Uh, it, Wi-Fi works, it will just automatically connect to the last Wi-Fi it was on, on your secondary profiles, uh, but when you click on Wi-Fi, it like crashes. I don't know what's going on with that. What you're gonna need uh, is download the settings app that I have down below. It's not even really an app, it's just a shortcut that will open up the Android system settings. And let's go ahead and jump in here and I'm just gonna show you how to do this and we'll end this video quick. So now that you're in, go ahead and click on TV. You've side loaded that little settings app and so you're going to click on channels uh, you're going to go down until you see settings right here so we're going to click on that and then look at this we've got android system settings and you're just going to scroll down until you see users right there so click on users you can see i've got tyco tech one uh, tyco tech two which is a secondary account uh, and then you're going to click on add user profile and i believe you can have up to four user profiles you're going to click on user up top, it's the only option that you can really do, and then it'll say add user, and then click OK. I am not actually going to go that far, because what will happen is it's going to open up the Quest Home just like you just bought the Quest. It's brand spanking new. It will have you do the little headset adjustment and then it's gonna have you uh, log in to an Oculus account. From there, you can log into your main Oculus account and then share content. The drawback to that though is if you try to play games online, it's still gonna be the same profile. Uh, or you could, if you want, sign in using a different Oculus account uh, and have your own avatar and all of that, uh, but you are going to need to buy your own games for that. To switch profiles, all you've got to do is restart the headset. Uh, and then when you turn it on, it's going to say, hey, you're on your main profile here. Do you want to continue? Or do you want to switch profiles? And it's like, okay, or switch profile. You're just going to click switch profile and it'll give you an option. And I'll be showing, I pre-recorded some stuff right here. And then you're just going to select the other user and then boom, log in and you are good to go. Uh, one word of advice is I don't recommend using custom home environments. I had a problem with that. And it took me a bit to clear out the cache, so just don't do that. In that settings app, you can click on a storage and then you can go to cache data and clear out your cache if you're experiencing any issues. That will help with a lot of problems on the headset. So that's that, I mean, simple stuff. If you guys have any questions, ask in the comments down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already. I hit the bell button to get notified when I do these videos. And that is that. I will see you guys in the next video.